A fantastic look at the skyscrapers that make up the skyline here in the Cradle of Liberty. We're coming to you from Philadelphia. Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us on 2K Sports. NBA action is coming up. I'm Kevin Harlan, joined by Chris Weber and Greg Anthony. David Aldridge is our sideline reporter. A look at the 76ers starting group. They've got Embiid. Joel Embiid out there with Joel Embiid. Then there's Embiid, and it's Embiid in at the five, roaming the paint. And for Philadelphia, Embiid is out there with Joel Embiid. Then there's Embiid. Then it's Joel Embiid, and it's Embiid in at the power forward. And see Webb tonight will most likely see some stout defense. Both of these teams are terrific at limiting points. But think about it, Kevin. I mean, these teams, uh, they do all the little things well on defense. I mean, they're great at helping over and, and contesting shots. They're locked in. And so here we go, the 76ers to start it. Get on, Joel! Embiid against Embiid. Out to the wing. Shoots over Embiid, and he wills that one in, sinking right through off the back iron. He's never bashful when it comes to getting tricky with it. Uh, Embiid is very confident with the ball in his hands. Embiid with it. Down low. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Yeah, very little resistance. I mean, you had to bring much faster help than that. One shot. Here's Philadelphia. Earlier, David Aldridge spoke with head coach Doc Rivers. What'd you find out, David? Thank you, Kevin. Well, look, he said this game could probably come down to the rebounding gauge. He said those guys are vacuums on the glass. So we have to have that same mindset, that same level of passion for controlling the boards. That strategy is pretty clear, Kevin. Back to you. Thank you, David. Obviously, getting better position on the boards is an issue. Good at recognizing when the defense is overcommitted. I mean, Embiid is terrific at sharing the ball. Pass to Embiid. Back to Embiid. Embiid in the corner. Shot clock at five. On the money from 12 feet away. Well, you got to keep your eye on Embiid, especially from these in-between areas. I mean, he's effective at scoring from there. To the wing on the left. Here's Embiid. Buries it down low. Boy, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. Yeah, that's because he's getting his number called early. I mean, he's doing his part to help carry the offensive load. Now here's Embiid. Back to Embiid. Lays it up off the glass. What a finisher Embiid is. He's a pro at not letting the defense dictate to him. Three-pointer by Embiid. Oh, oh and he no got it to yes. fall. No way. What Woo. focus from him right there. Nice play. Yeah. Wow. What a way to finish up the quarter. Every once in a while, a prayer like that somehow finds the net. At the end of one, a closely contested game so far. 76ers lead by three. Live from Philadelphia, you're watching 2K Sports. And a bit of a lull in the play of Joel Embiid. He sees the need to turn up the heat a bit. Yeah, I think I need to, you know, be more aggressive. Um, you know, just look to impose myself, just look to dominate. I guess I need to go back to having fun and just dominate. Then. And certainly Embiid has shown he can dominate. MVP level talent. He's just got to bring it every time down the floor. Some good action already in this one, but a fairly even matchup after the first quarter of play. 
And looking at what we've seen so far, guys, from the 76ers, what are your thoughts? Coming in hot. They were sharp from the perimeter right out of the gate. Well, oh, at the defense spinning in circles. Hard to cover all that ground. And a moment now to reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up for the second quarter of basketball. And so in the game for the 76ers, Joel Embiid out there with Embiid. Then it's Joel Embiid. Then it's Joel Embiid. And it's Embiid in at the five. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. <laughs> and when you bring up the process to Embiid, he just says it's an ongoing thing. Yeah, he's explained it a few times. I mean, it's a process for making the playoffs, then another one for the conference finals, then another one just to go to the finals. But that doesn't even have you winning a ring yet. Drains it from beyond the arc. Embiid's got himself on the board with three there. Oh, this is the confidence the big man Embiid brings to the table. No hesitation shooting off the pass. Now here's Embiid. Good. Nice job down low. Embiid's got four points now in the quarter. Oh, they've tailored their offense around him. And let me tell you, he loves playing in this system. Embiid, the pass to Embiid. Bobbed up there for Embiid. Yeah, he continues to improve as a passer. The sky's the limit for Embiid and his all-around game. We're closing in on two minutes played here in the second quarter. Here's MB. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. The pass to Embiid. And the rejection by Embiid. Awesome timing on the rejection. Embiid, the big fella. You don't want to bring it in around this guy. How about that mobile one block we just saw? Amazing defensive work. And an early swap like that can really set the tone. Now the shooters will be feeling his presence. And that'll do it for the first half. A competitive game so far. Philadelphia ahead. They lead by a bucket. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks very much, Doc. A high-scoring affair in the first half. Did you think coming in that it would be this kind of shootout? Not at all. But we're not playing good enough defense to guard anybody. So, yeah, we just got to play better day, keep the ball in front of us. Doc, thanks for your time. Back to you guys. Thank you, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of action following halftime. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. For the 76ers, the first quarter was pretty even. The period wrapped up with the teams on level ground and the score tied. We've got second half action for you, and if the next couple quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. And so many teams looking to space the floor. Greg, how many non-shooters can you play and, and still have a good offense? Well, I, I think most teams go four out, meaning you got to have at least four guys that are a threat on the perimeter, keeping a vertical spacer at that dunker spot. But if your dunker can also shoot, man, that puts even more pressure on the defense. Joel Embiid out there with Joel Embiid. Then it's Joel Embiid. Then it's Joel Embiid. And it's Embiid in at the three slot. That's the group in the game for the 76ers. What amazing strength. Look, I love how Embiid fights his way through whatever the defense throws his way. Embiid, the pass to Embiid. Embiid against Embiid. It's over Embiid. That one's rebounded by Embiid. Embiid finds Embiid out left to the wing. There's a minute left to play in the third. Pass to Embiid. 
76ers moving the ball around. Four on the shot clock. From the arc. Unable to get that one. So Philadelphia will take it the other way. Embiid against Embiid. Bounce pass Embiid. Embiid in the corner. Embiid against Embiid. Count that bucket. Embiid's got five. And we've seen several lead changes tonight. Neither team giving an inch. It's a seesaw battle. Both teams are pretty evenly matched, and the score reflects that. Embiid kicks to Embiid. Back to Embiid. Passes to Embiid. Shoots over Embiid. And Embiid with the block. And, and the wingspan of Embiid. I mean, very effective at using his limp to turn shots back. And it goes down two points. And now around two minutes gone by in this half. It's still anybody's game as we've reached the end of three. 76ers lead by three. And we've got more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way after this break. And let's go back to a terrific pass that we're calling tonight our State Farm assist of the game. Just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball. And how about the perfect delivery? How about the unselfishness? Night in and night out, we see guys trying to force their own agenda. Not that time. And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. So on the floor for Philadelphia. Joel Embiid out there with Embiid. Then it's Joel Embiid. Then it's Joel Embiid. And it's Embiid in at the five spot. And they double up Embiid. Back to Embiid. And Embiid throws it down. Cutting into that deficit now. Well within striking distance. Yeah, just trying to keep the momentum now. And that's easier said than done. Embiid against Embiid. Knocked away. Embiid with the steal. Embiid against Embiid. Pass to Embiid. And that's going to be too many steps. Gets the whistle on the travel. Last thing they want to be doing right now is giving away possessions. I mean, turnovers can kill you in this kind of game. A tremendous mobile one block that we had to see again. Great send back. And that is a huge block. Given how close this game is, a stop like that was right on point. Embiid against Embiid. Kicks it to Embiid. To the right side. Embiid, the pass to Embiid. Yes! Oh, you just love seeing a player with absolutely no fear. Yeah, he approached that one with total confidence. He has what it takes to come through in the clutch. And Philadelphia calls time here. They trail by three. 50 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. And now, let's take a look at the New Balance player of the game, Joel Embiid. He's put on a shooting exhibition for us here tonight. He's missed a couple along the way, but it sure seems like everything's been falling for him. The only way to keep him from converting is to keep the ball out of his hand. Catching up on the changes for Philadelphia, Joel Embiid. He's checked in for Embiid. Embiid comes in for Embiid, and it's Joel Embiid in for Embiid. Okay, well, let's check in with David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sidelines. Hey, Kevin, during the last break, I heard Doc Rivers talking with his team. This game is obviously close, could go either way, and he wanted to make sure that his guys were all on the same page and were all staying with the game plan in order to close this one out. Kevin? Thanks, David. And they foul intentionally. They're going to have to do that now again and again. They're not in the penalty yet. 
Yeah, you, you have to do that, though. You can't just let him dribble the game out. And he commits the intentional foul. Really no idea why you're fouling in a situation like that. You know, maybe there's some bad blood between those two. First free throw is good, and that gives them a four-point cushion. Is there a more entertaining player in this league than Joel Embiid? I mean, on the court, he's a seven-plus footer who can do it all. Off the court, no one better on social media. And so he drops them both. It's a five-point game. But those are big. I mean, turns into a two-possession game. And Philadelphia calls time here. They're trailing by five. 17 seconds left in the game. Guys, what do you think? Uh, trying to stay alive. They've got to work quickly. Uh, yeah, uh -uh. time is of the essence. Basket and a foul. That's got to be the game plan. Here's Embiid. Draws contact on the shot. And now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. Wow. Bonafide star in this league. Embiid knows his teammates look to him to deliver in the clutch. Free throw drops for Embiid. Wow, it's all about the fun-loving personality of Embiid. It's just awesome. I mean, this guy likes to have fun on and off the court. And they're going to prolong the game here with an intentional foul. You have to foul, but I'm sure they would have liked to foul someone different. Good on the first, and that makes it a three-point lead. Is there a more entertaining player in this league than Joel Embiid? I mean, on the court, he's a seven-plus footer who can do it all. Off the court, no one better on social media. Second one is good. Getting both at the line, and it's a four-point ball game. Uh, and it's a wrap. <laughs> Any chance they may have had for a comeback just went out the window with those free throws. Count it! All-star caliber player. Embiid excels at figuring out ways to score despite the D's best efforts. And Philadelphia calls time here. They're ahead by two. Six seconds left in the fourth quarter. Guys, your thoughts? And clearly, they're in the driver's seat here, but they still have to get a stop. The main thing is they can't allow that open, quick look from beyond the arc. And now an intentional foul. They need the ball back as soon as possible. So the first one drops, and that makes it a three-point lead. So he gets them both, and it's a four-point ball game. So it's the 76ers taking the win in a close game. Probably a little closer than they would have liked it, but a win nonetheless. Yeah, but I really got a sense that the fans gave them that emotional boost that was needed down the stretch. This crowd, man, they were electric. For Greg Anthony, Chris Weber, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. So long.